in her art room again. Okay, so yesterday I did a funnel pour and I tried using this craft bottle cut. I think it'll work. I just don't feel like trying it again today because I, when I went to open this, I went like this and all the paint came running out the back. So I had a little bit of a disaster, but we recovered, poured it back on the canvas and it turned out fine. But today I'm gonna use my funnel. This time I'm gonna put some of that sticky blue stuff on the bottom and see if that works better. So I'm gonna put you down and show you what I'm working on. All right, so I have an old, I have an old board that has, um, it's an old canvas board that's got very thin layer of paint on it, so it should not, I don't need to um, prepare it. If it was a little bit thicker, I would gesso over it, but this is very thin on here, so I think it'll be fine. So, let's decide what what paint colors I'm going to use. You see okay? Yeah. All right. So I have a lot of paints mixed already. So I think I like the blues and purples and turquoises. So I have a, a nice phalo blue. I have turquoise, aqua green. These are all um, artist loft. Um, I think I will use this uh, uh, phalo green. So I have phalo blue and phalo green and aqua and white. Of course, I'm going to put white. And I'm trying to decide if I should use any other color. I don't Maybe, maybe a little bit of, should I use yellow or gold? Um, oh, I know, I wanted to use purple. I thought I had purple mixed. Where's my purple? Oh, don't tell me I used all my purple. Oh, well, no purple today. Um, Maybe some magenta, how about that? Magenta and greens and blues. All right, what's this one here? I have, oh, that's a red, it's an orangey red. And this is a bit of turquoise. I think I'm gonna use this turquoise up. It's a dark turquoise. All right, so whatever color comes in here first comes out, well, obviously it'll come out first on there. So I think I'm gonna start with turquoise. I'm not sure if this has, none of these have any silicone in it. This might have a tinch. But with this process, you really don't need silicone. You can see this. There, you can see. So there's the turquoise in there. And I'm gonna try and put a little bit of white in between every color. white. I think I'll use the magenta. Whoops! I'm spreading it everywhere. These little eraser tops are great if your lids don't close anymore. Just take them off and put these on top. They work good. They work great. All right, so I got the pink magenta, so there. Um, now I'll do some phalo green. A bit of white.
aqua green. Some blue. This is a really pretty blue, phthalo blue. Some white. Um, finish off this turquoise. Whoops. Well, that's not layered anymore. There we go. about half of that should do it. <clears throat> Pale green. These are mixed one to one with Floetrol. The tube paint that is like this always mix more so I usually do one like one and a half to two one and a half is enough and then you add water some are thicker than other but <clears throat> then it then you stir it till it comes stir the Floetrol and the paint together really good and then add your water as needed to so it comes off the stick in a nice pour stream Some more pink, more magenta. Yellow blue. I'm thinking, is this enough? and some magenta all right I think a little white on top I think we're good so I think that's probably enough paint. I think more of this dark green would be in order. I wish I had purple, but no purple today. I'll have to make up a batch of purple. Okay, I think, I think, I think, I think I'm good. Um, the last one I did, I think I had it a little bit fuller, but I think it was a bigger canvas. Let's see if I can see it. Yeah, it was bigger. So yeah, I think we're good. All right, let the magic begin. So now all I have to do is not tip this over. <laughs> Take this off and then just go up and down. One, two, three. Whoa, too much turquoise. Wow, well not too much, maybe it'll come through. The colors are all buried. Whoa.
Wow. All right, let's see what we can do with this. Come back this way. I don't know where all my pretty colors went. I guess they're all buried under there. I was hoping more cells would pop up. Maybe I should have put silicone in. It's kind of cool, those white lines going through. Try and make it go back the other way. The more I move it around, maybe the more cells will pop through. off. I wonder if my little torch will do anything. I don't use my torch very often. But... I'll pop all these bubbles anyway. Need a little bit more on that corner. I guess that's it. Cover my sides, these sides up a bit. No big cells there. That's it. 
I thought it would be more colorful actually. But that's okay. I love these stripes. They're pretty. More cells might pop through. I'll lift it up so you can see a little closer. All right. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and all that good stuff and, and uh, make a comment if you'd like. Let me know what you think. Any suggestions? All right. I'll uh, probably post a dry picture on the end of this video. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Okay, here I am checking out my funnel pour, the blue one. Looks like a sky. It dried on my um, canvas panel that I poured over an old painting. It dried well. It's not cracking. It's really smooth. It's doing well. I'll have to think of something to do with this. Maybe I'll paint a tree on it or I'm not sure. But it looks really good. I'm happy with the dried results. All right. And that's it. Thanks for watching and come back soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.